Now let's talk about opening and saving your files. It's important that you get this right because you don't want to lose any of your files. It can drive you crazy, believe me. Just follow these steps and you'll never lose any Logic projects again. This might sound really obvious, but remember to save, which is command save, anything you do on a consistent basis. Logic does automatically save your projects, but I also like to manually save as well, just in case. If you go to File, Save As, then you'll have more information up here about where to save your Logic project. Logic will default save your projects in the Logic folder, which is the music folder on your Mac. If you're working on a lot of different projects and you don't have much space in your hard drive, I would suggest using an external drive just for your Logic projects. Also on the Save As window, you can choose either Package or Folder. Package will save the file into one neat file, and Folder will allow you to click on the folder and view different parts of your project, such as the audio files. On the Save window, we have things that say, copy the following files into your projects. I would always have audio files checked. If you're working with audio files, you definitely want this checked. This is the most important box here to have checked. The next one is EXS, Instruments and Samples. This is for anything that you have sampled with the EXS24 sampler. This will force save and copy these samples into a separate folder for you. This is anything like a kick drum or vocal sample you've sampled from this sampler. Below this is Ultrabeat. This is a Logic drum machine. If you've used this drum machine in your project, you can check this box and it will save a copy of these samples into a folder for you. The next one is Space Designer Impulse Responses. Space Designer is the Logic Reverb unit, and Impulse Responses is where it uses real recordings of actual spaces to generate reverb. Check this if you've been using it in your project and you want to create another folder for the Space Designer Impulse Responses. Below this is MoviFile. Check this if you've been working with MoviFile, you want a separate folder for this too. Okay, the most important one here is audio files. Make sure this is checked. The rest of them, I check if you're working on another Mac that hasn't got the same additional content, uh, but it's not too important. Just make sure audio files are always, always checked. To close a project, go to File, Close Projects. If you just go to File, Close, or not close a window, or not close the actual project. To open up your project, go on Mac, click on Mac HD, then go on User, then Music, then Open Logic if you're saving in a default location. This is always where Logic will save your files automatically unless you choose a different location. If you saved your project as a folder, you can go through and look at the individual audio files and all the individual takes that were created in this project. This might be handy when just sending over the audio files to people. Also shows other folders such as impulse responses, which is a folder for all the different reverbs. Also has the date modified so you can see when you last updated it. If you saved your project as a package, it will come up like this. If you double click it, your full Logic project will appear. If you want to see some other information, then control click and go to show package content. And you can find it through here. Remember to have a clear title and date when you actually created this project. You never know when you might need quick access to it. 